Welcome to the Wastes, and this is Grim Grinner on all channels. If I'm sounding a bit slurred at all throughout this broadcast, I'm deeply sorry, Wastelanders. We made it to the vineyard, and can I just say, it's absolutely worth the trek. Not only do they make the most delicious wine I've ever tasted, which is saying a lot since I'm not normally a wine person, but they've got whiskeys and vodkas and all other kinds of alcohol. No radiation full of flavor, and I'd wager both more potent and more delicious than old world drinks. And of course, better than the moonshine that you'll find in uh, some of the less savory regions of the wastes. And I found a gem that I never thought I'd see again. Flasks and flasks of atomic maple. My favorite cocktail before the world became a desolate wasteland. So a few of those, and a few bottles of Capra Cabernet, and we are good to go for a while. <laughs> and that's even if we share with other Wastelanders here and there. We also got to talk with Viola Capra, the Wastelander in charge of the vineyard. Now I say in charge, but it really does feel more like a community effort. But, considering Viola is kind of the head of things, and it's her name on their specialty wine... I figured she'd be the best to sit down and talk with. To no surprise, Viola Capra and a handful of the folks residing here are from the farm. Of course, they politely refuse to give any sort of indication as to where it's located, which is for the best. But she did open up about how nice it seems to be there. Lush foliage, fresh fruits and vegetables, and even a solid water purification system for irrigation and for drinking. Honestly, it sounds like a dream come true. As for their story, Viola and a small contingent of people departed a few years ago in search of some space to create a settlement. They brought several clippings of hops, grapes, and other plant life that can be both fermented and just eaten in general. From the sounds of things, even though they left prepared with weapons and equipment, they still face the same struggles we all do out in the wastes. A feral attack resulted in the deaths of a handful of their team, and prompted a relocation before they could even harvest their first crop. That was initially more southwest, closer to the edge of the rift, near an abandoned farm that had just barely survived. So they wandered for a while, taking time when they could. Eventually, a mysterious stranger they encountered directed them towards their current location, which was an old goat farm with the prospect of being able to find some more fertile soil. And when they described the stranger, I'm fairly certain it was the Wanderer. Which means that they've been around for a good long while. Luckily, the information they got proved useful, and they were able to get settled in and get the first crops started in what they could salvage of an old greenhouse which has now grown to be several greenhouses, with a crop or two in each one. And from the sounds of things, some patrols from Burblack are what help shore up the defenses, so that could mean that they're potentially pretty close by. Then again, if creeps can get as far as the rift from the Gat, then there's no telling how far the patrols from Burblack get out. <sighs> At any rate, the vineyard has done well to fortify and really create something for themselves. I mean, they still have losses every so often amidst creep and raider attacks, but that's the unfortunate side to life in the wastes. And you just have to hope that you can minimize those losses while taking out as many of the ones attacking you as possible. We also got an update on the situation at the Med Bay. A wastelander by the name of Night Owl was able to get information on a stash of supplies to help out with repairing the fortifications, as well as medical supplies to boost their depleted stock. Still no word on the Shawa rats, but hopefully that means they're either dusted or have gone back to hiding in their hole in the gat. I've also received word from Praxis at the animated broom that there's currently a wastelander by the name of The Game Master looking to put together a crew of sorts to raid a factory supposedly owned by the corporations. It's located in a slightly more southern region of the wastes, not necessarily corporate territory, but there could be any number of dangers involved. 
That being said, the Game Master is staying at the animated room for a while until they can put together a small four-person team to take on this mission. I'm trying to get the code to get some direct contact with this Wastelander, but that's something even Praxis doesn't know. <laughs> Hopefully I can get that info and make contact soon to get in more information. We're going to take some time and scavenge some of the areas nearby since there's potentially a lot of territory between us and Burblack and we could use the extra supplies for making a trip like that. After the last broadcast, I was able to patch into a corporate channel, and it sounds like there might be something in a nearby region, since they're sending a squad out to investigate. Could be an old depot or something bigger, hopefully. So, a quick rest and refuel, and we'll be checking that out as best we can. For now, this has been Grim Grinner, Voice of the Wastes, signing off. See you in the Wastes. Welcome to The Wastes is a Wasteland podcast brought to you by Edward Grimgrenner Hutchinson. Feel free to follow me on all social media and make sure to subscribe to hear more new episodes as they release. If you like what I do here and want to get some cool buttons or an enamel pin, check me out on Buy Me A Coffee. Donations there go towards being able to produce the best content I can make, and I offer some pretty fun perks as well. For more information and all the links, check out linktree.com slash welcome to the wastes. See you in the wastes.